Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and in today's news, the gloves come off in the royal family rift with Prince Charles and Prince William said to be incandescent after Prince Harry and Meghan's decision to step down in defiance of Queen's orders, while aides have broken rants to accuse the couple of wanting to have their cake and eat it. As Britons digested the news of Prince Harry and Meghan's shock decision to quit as senior members of the royal family in favor of a hybrid public-private role that would allow them to earn their own income, the mood was one of shock and disappointment at the decision. On Thursday, the Evening Standard reported Prince Harry ignored instructions from the Queen not to make any announcements this week. The Daily Mail reported Prince Harry had requested to meet the Queen at Sandringham last weekend after returning from a six-week break in Canada. However, it did not go ahead, the prin the, with Prince Charles and Prince William allegedly receiving a copy of the statement just 10 minutes before it was published. On Thursday, the news overshadowed celebrations for the Duchess of Cambridge's 38th birthday, where senior members of her family gathered at Kensington Palace to celebrate. On Wednesday, the Sussexes announced announcement created global headlines with the announcement they would ditch the royal life Prince Harry had been born into. The couple said their decision had been long coming, with their plans outlined on a newly created Sussex Royal website. However, minutes later Buckingham Palace issued a tourist rebuttal saying discussions were at an early stage and complicated. The hugely unconventional move has taken a wrecking ball to the royal institution and drawn comparisons with the abdication of the Queen's uncle, Edward VIII, when he gave up the throne to marry American divorcee Wallace Simpson. A senior royal source told The Sun, The statement was not cleared with anyone. It breaks all protocol. This is a declara declaration of war on the family. There is fury over how they've done this without any thought for the implications for the institution. The Queen is deeply upset. The Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge are incandescent with rage. Courtiers can't believe it. There are so many unanswered questions, but they've just up and done it without a thought for anyone else. The plan was there to discuss it and work out a way that works for everyone in the family. Meghan's most high-profile critic Piers Morgan blasted the couple as royal hustlers and deluded crowns for seeking glitz, the glamour and the splendour and stupendous wealth. They just don't want to have it to actually earn it. Royal aides have described feeling stabbed in the back after working hard to accommodate the couple in their recent move to Frogmore Cottage and decision to form their own charitable foundation. However, it is not the first pa First time palace workers have been blindsided by the couple's move to issue personal statements that have overshadowed, overshadowed official duties. On the final day of their successful royal tour to Southern Africa in 2019, the couple announced they would sue owners of the Mail on Sunday and Prince Harry issued a bitter personal statement blasting the tabloid media. My deepest fear is history repeating itself, he wrote at the time. I've seen what happens when someone I love is commoditized to the point that they are no longer treated or seen as a real person. I lost my mother and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces. On Thursday a royal source told the Daily Mail members of the royal household felt they had been stabbed in the back. It's a masterclass in wanting to have your cake and eat it. Even their own staff cautioned against them making this public until they actually sat down and discussed it with the family properly. But they are in this weird bubble and have the strange siege mentality. They feel like it's them against the world and they're painting a very unfair picture of how this is a family that supposedly doesn't understand or support them, which is complete and utter rubbish. Another staff said to the team had bent over backwards for them. They were, gi they were given the wedding they wanted, the house they wanted, the office they wanted, the money they wanted, the staff they wanted, the tours they wanted, and the backing of their family. What more did they want? The decision to make public announcement rather than hold quiet discussions was also the subject of con consternation. consternation. Why on earth have they put it out on public domain is a decision only they can justify, one source told the organization. The feeling is one of deep disappointment that they have chosen to do this unilaterally without prior warning or consultation. The feeling is one of deep disappointment that they have chosen to do this unilaterally without prior warning or consultation. People understand they want to get things moving. There remains a desire help to, 
to help them get this right, but you do not turn 1,000 years of Britain royal history on its head in eight days. The couple now faces huge, huge questions about their progressive new role. The couple now faces huge questions about how their progressive new role will work. Their new website makes no mention of giving up royal titles or protection, as they say they will remain living in Frogmore Cottage, which has recently been given a 4.56 million taxpayer-funded renovation. The couple claim only 5% of their operating costs are covered by the sovereign grant, a 1,000. A 155 million US dollar a year fu funding stream for royals and their activities. However, the couple also received 9.5 million US dollars split between the Sussexes and the Cambridges from Prince Charles's Duchy of Cornwall, which is used to finance the official duties of the two brothers. While the royals consider this family money, it is in fact. It, it in fact. While the royals consider this family money. <laughs> While the royals consider this family money, it is in fact. Oh my god, I can't fall. While the royals consider this family money, it in fact comes from the Duke of Cornwall's title, which is held by the heir to the throne. Renouncing their royal status begs the question of whether this income stream will remain in place, and what will happen when Prince William and Prince George become the heir instead. Prince Harry has an estimated personal fortune of around 56 US million dollars while Meghan Markle is around 7.6 million, and the couple could earn millions from endorsement, public speaking, and pr products in the future. But it also raises questions about how their commercial links would be governed, and whether companies could be seen to be profiting from the royal brand. The desire to have a normal life could also be more difficult, as media interest is likely to wane in the couple following their unprecedented move. Prince Harry and Meghan took aim at the royal rotor system of press management on their new website. However, in reality, the system has un underpinned an uneasy truce between British media and the royals, allowing the outlet to highlight their work while ensuring private lives remain largely off limits. Consider, for example, the small number of official photographs released of the Cambridge children each year, designed to satisfy public curiosity, while avoiding having the children subject to a barrage of paparazzi each day. As private citizens, Meghan and Harry may find they have no such protection. Public spokesman Graham Smith, who campaigns to abolish the royal family, accused the couple of being crass and wanting to have your cake and eat it. They have said they will dip in and out of royal duties as it suits them, but won't stop taking public money until they find other sources of income. To suggest that they are not already financially independent is incredibly crass and bel belies on the sense of self-entitlement and lack of self-awareness that is common among royals. He said the move raises questions about the monarchy's future. In the meantime, taxpayers will rightly ask who will be funding their overseas lifestyle, their extra security and trips back and forth here, from here in North America. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next video.